Hi guys! Welcome back to our YouTube channel. I'm Libby. And I'm Este. In today's video, we're going to be talking about a product that we have been completely obsessed with. Like, obsessed. We say that a lot about a lot of products, but yeah. this one has been of recent. Yes. And it's the Clay Cosmetics CCC Cream. Cream. For those who don't know, the CCC Cream is pretty much like a tinted moisturizer slash a foundation. So it feels like a BB cream, but it has much higher coverage. So you can really work with a light to medium coverage for this product. The reason why it's CCC is because it stands for color control and change cream. Mm -hmm. And this one is super unique compared to other BB and CC creams that you would have seen on the market or used before because it uses microcapsule technology, which means that the pigment in the CCC cream is encapsulated and it requires friction. So you spreading it onto your face in order to release those pigments and then transform into your natural skin tone. Yep. So it should blend in really nicely into your skin tone. And what I love about the product actually is that even when using your fingers, it doesn't leave any kind of straight marks or anything, which is amazing. No brush required. Yeah. Done. Right up my alley. We've used it for the last few weeks or ever since it launched really here and there but we wanted to really put it to the test and do a wear test. Now that people are starting to go back to work, you know, starting to go out, we just wanted to experiment a little bit and be your guinea pig so that you can see if it's worth buying or not. Mm -hmm. So strap in, grab a grab cup of tea and keep watching. So I've got no makeup on at the moment. This is just barefaced with skincare and sunscreen on. Even though the CC cream does contain SPF 50, you still want to use a sunscreen prior to using the CC cream. The CC cream is more sort of a complementary added benefit that gives added UV protection. But of course you need to go in still with a sunscreen before it. So most mornings when I have meetings, I just apply some CC cream, the melting lip powder, and I'm pretty much good to go. It is currently 12 p.m. and I've got a few meetings this afternoon so that's why I sort of started my routine a little bit later because work from home things. I've got a pretty not a super busy day it's just going to be meetings and then the weather's really nice today so might go out for a walk as well and then we shall sort of check in every two hours to see how the CC cream is going. I'm just going to use my hands This gives a beautiful light to medium uh, coverage and it looks divine on Zoom meetings, I'm telling you. So that's it, just to quickly even out my skin tone. I might just put a little bit more under my eyes. I usually don't go in with a powder because I've got quite dry skin I don't find that I need to and I quite like that dewy look so what I'll do for the 8 to 10 hour wear test is that I'll have it without powder so that you guys can see what it looks like 8 or 10 hours after whether I get oilier or how do I look but today I'm just going to go powerless. I'm just going to go off and finish off the rest of my makeup and then we'll check in every two hours or so to see how this wears. So makeup done and this probably took me less than 10 minutes to do. This is the finished look and I'll show you without the ring light as well. So it's 12.30pm now. I'm going to go by lunch now and do a bit of grocery shopping 
have my few meetings in the afternoon and then probably go for a walk. So this is sort of the start of the wear test and then I'll update you throughout the day. Okay, so I'm pretty much ready to pop on my makeup. I just have my skincare on and some SPF sunscreen. I usually use the shade medium, but I do find sometimes that it can be a little bit ashy. It's more of a neutral toned one. So if I do want a bit more warmth, and color i'll add in a bit of the warm medium so that's what i'm going to do today so just the medium which starts off as like a light gray and then turns into its own color and then a touch of the warm medium i wouldn't use warm medium alone because i find that it's too orange so i think mixing it mixing the two is perfect i'm gonna try do half of my face with the CCC cream and no powder, and then the left side of my face with powder on top. I just wanna see if it makes any difference by the end of the 10 hours. Okay, so that is one layer. As you can see, it's quite dewy. Looks like a very healthy glow. Might go in with a touch more, just for that extra coverage. Okay, so that's looking pretty good. Very dewy, very glowy. And I'm really happy with the coverage as well. So I'm going to stop there and then finish the rest of my makeup. Alrighty, so that is a very basic everyday makeup look that I've been doing these days. This side, so the left side of my face is the side where I've done a very light dusting of translucent powder on top of the CCC cream. And this side, the right side is without the translucent powder. The only powder that it has is the bit of bronzer and blush that I put on, which has kind of slightly mattified the cheek area, but the rest of the face is still quite dewy. This is what we're starting out with. It feels very fresh, very comfortable at the moment. So, and I haven't worn it for 10 hours straight. So very interested to see how this is gonna turn out. It's 12 noon now, let's start the 10 hour wear test. So I'll give updates every two hours and I will see you guys in two hours. Okay, so it's been half an hour since I've popped the CC cream on and it's definitely settled in really nicely. Like I love how this CC cream looks so natural on the skin. It doesn't even look like I'm wearing anything on top. It looks like my natural skin, but better. Oh, it's, I'm loving it. Like I've been taking some photos and it's looking so good. And this is without powder, by the way. So I'm looking, I know I look glowy, but not like oily or anything. And I'm loving it. So I'm on the way out to get some lunch and some groceries. I forgot that we've got to wear masks, so let's see how this CC cream goes after wearing a mask. So it's 2.30 now, which is two hours since I've applied the CC cream. So far, so good. I can tell that I've gotten a little shinier, but remember I didn't add any powder to this. And also the lip tint, you can see it very slightly, but I did have a pretty oily, heavy lunch. I can still see a bit of color, but I know that the intensity is not there anymore. Honestly, this CC cream looks so natural on the skin. Like I sometimes forget that I've got it on, uh, but it just gives me the nicest, even skin tone all across and i'm still loving the finish of it i like the dewy look anyways so i have nothing to complain about here's without the ring light when i saw myself in the mirror in the car it didn't look like i had foundation on but i can tell that it's really evened out my skin tone Alrighty, two hour update. 
this is what we are dealing with. So this is the side with the powder and it's still quite matte as you can see and the side with no powder is not as oily actually it's held up pretty well like it's still got the dewiness there but it's not super oily as well i usually get really whenever i wear makeup i get really oily on my forehead like on my t-zone but nothing yet which is really amazing i've just been out to the shops and took marlo out for a quick walk so i've had my mask on and it hasn't rubbed off as well so i would say that it's looking pretty good no real change which is a good sign it's just before 5 30 now so i've had the cc cream on for over five hours and i just went for a walk so i'm low-key sweating all over the place and huffing and puffing a little bit but essentially this is the five hour update the cheeks you can still see a bit of color but i know that it's dimmed down a little bit um i definitely look a lot glossier than what i started off with i'll just turn off the ring light okay so that is with natural light so you can see that i'm getting quite oily around this area here and then just in that forehead area you can tell that i've exercised but it's nothing that you can't fix really a little bit of powder and you'll be good but still loving the finish of this cc cream like it's not discolored it's not separating or anything my lips they've seen better days they have and my skin still looks quite even with the ring light or with just natural light i'm pretty impressed so far gave myself a good hard look in the mirror again and i just love the finish of this like it just looks like my skin but better like it just evens out my skin tone but it doesn't look heavy it doesn't look like you know streaks of um pigments or anything it literally looks like my skin but better i don't know how to say this better but honestly and like even when i was patting just a bit on around this areas not much gets transferred either so the foundation is still there or the cc cream is still there but honestly it just it looks like it's not there but she's there okay four hour update we're still feeling very very comfortable there is a tiny like the tiniest bit of shininess on my forehead but i've seen way worse that would be my number one test with foundations is how oily my t-zone gets so the fact that we're four hours in and it's not as shiny as it usually gets with other foundations is a good sign so it's holding up very very well the powdered side is still quite matte and the non-powdered side is still dewy but not like the glazed donut kind of vibe in terms of creasing not much creasing is going on it wasn't that bad to begin with anyway i have been working for the last few hours and wearing my glasses and i've noticed that the you know how you get those little marks from wearing your glasses it's not as prominent as i thought it would be like when i wear other foundations you can obviously see it and like you can see the foundation gather up from like the glasses thing sitting on your nose but there's not really any marks which is really um impressive six hour update just came back from a walk and was wearing my mask of course i think it kind of took off a little bit of the product at the bottom half of my face um, I mean that's given with face masks. Before I went on my walk I did notice my nose starting to get a little bit shiny like oily. You can see on my forehead here that usually is the case for me but after the mask it kind of just you know mattified it a bit so that's why it doesn't look as shiny right now but I'm overall pleased with how it's holding up at six hours. That's pretty good. I haven't really been touching my face all day which I think has helped. What I found is it actually helped my skin stay moisturized all day. Usually with foundations, especially like mattifying ones, I usually get a little bit flaky in this area, but I haven't noticed that yet with this CCC cream. And like, just in general, I feel hydrated and moisturized. I don't feel dry at all. Yeah, it's just felt very, um, very lightweight. Like there's nothing on my skin. Four more hours until we get the final verdict.
so it's just past 9 30 now and i am ready to wash this off do my night time skincare routine that's why the light in the bathroom is on but before i jump in there i wanted to quickly give you a final update of what this ccc cream looks like at this point i can't quite tell if the ccc cream is still on like my skin still looks really good and even so i know that it's still on but i'm i'm pretty sure or there's very little left around my chin or at least around my mouth area because i've just been wiping my mouth a lot out of habit i tend to touch my chin a lot i think most of here is probably gone it still looks pretty even so i can't quite tell if it, there is still product there or not but it just blends into the skin so easily and undetectably that i can't tell whether i still have product on or not but again no discoloration i didn't powder it at all throughout the day used a bit of tissue to tap off a bit of the sweat that i got after my walk but overall honestly i love how i still look at 9 30 pm after wearing this for over eight hours or nine hours now even the melting lip powder is she is still here it's obviously not as obvious and not as prominent as what it was before but she's still hanging out like look at the eyeshadow she's still there i would look dead without melting lip powder so if I'm looking alive, it's because she's still here. Alrighty guys, it is finally the end of the bloody day. Sorry I didn't give an update on the eighth hour because I was in a meeting with Estee and it ran a little bit longer than we anticipated. But we're here now, end of day at the 10th hour. The wear test is finally over. And the final verdict is that I am very, very super impressed with this CCC cream. And I'm not just saying that because I want you guys to buy it. It's not like all the other foundations that I have, um, which leave me quite oily in the T-zone by the end of the day or flaky around this area here. It's just really hydrating. I'm really surprised at how hydrating it is. Not surprised, but I think the better word is impressed. It just feels like second skin, you know, you forget that it's there. You don't feel the cakiness or the slipperiness with some foundations. It's just really comfortable to wear. I have been in and out of the house a few times today. So I've had to wear my mask, which did rub off a little bit of the makeup down here, but it still maintained the coverage pretty well. I do have the tiniest bit of smudging from mascara on my bottom lash line, but I mean, what do you expect if you're wearing makeup for 10 hours? It hasn't oxidized at all. I feel like the shade has been quite consistent throughout the whole day. Overall, I'm just really impressed. This wear test has just proved to me how long lasting and hydrating it can be, even if you wear it all day. So it'd be great if you're, you know, going to work you don't have to worry about touching up or anything. I highly recommend you guys try it out. We do give out free samples of this product, so don't hesitate to come and ask us. Just send us a DM or an email and we shall give it to you for free. We do hope this little wear test experiment kind of thing was helpful and that you enjoyed it. If you did, please be sure to give this video a thumbs up and subscribe to our channel because it really supports us. And don't forget to hit the notification button so you never missed a weekly video. I am ready to take this all off and hop in the shower. So thank you so much for watching and we shall see you next time. Bye.